talk about summer camp. Yeah. And I'm just curious, since you did write this film also, besides directing it, are you a former summer camp kid? <laughs> I did go to horse camp growing up. Um, it didn't look anything like the summer camp that's in the movie, um, but I I did have that experience each year growing up, which was really wonderful. Well, yeah, that was like a, what, a half a million dollar summer camp? <laughs> <laughs> So tell me about um writing the writing the storyline. What inspired you? Um yeah, so I think I was really inspired by um by book club originally. That's about the time that I came up with this. Um, seeing these kind of legendary actresses um on screen doing what they do best and just rocking it and I think up until that point we hadn't really seen that kind of movie about female friendship and um and just women later in life it's like I feel like so often women are kind of written off after the age of I don't know 40 <laughs> um so it was nice to just see that and I so I took a lot of inspiration from that I felt like I wanted to see more of that um and and then coming up with you know putting them in an environment that they would otherwise not be in you know showing that we can we can go zip lining and and whitewater rafting into our however old we are like there's no limitations i think that kind of um all came together once we had like the idea of you know, 65 plus women and uh, the summer camp environment, then everything kind of um, came into focus around that. Did any of this legendary actresses actually zip line? Yes, they did. They did? They did. Yes, we built a, so they aren't on the big guy that you see at the very end, um, but they, we did build, I think like a, um, maybe like, 20 yards, um, a zip line out of that little hut that they're in and they do go on it. Yeah. They're brave. I mean, I can't, I have this thing with heights. I know. And you know what, Diane especially is terrified of heights. We didn't think that we were even going to get her to do it. Um, but she was the last one to go and it was the last shot of the day. And we just had multiple cameras. We're like, is she actually getting, she walked away she was, you know, really nervous about it. And then I just called rolling and I was like, Diane, go on, go on. And camera's up and we got it. And she, she, but you know what? I will tell you this. She got off that zip line and she was like, I want to go again. I need another take. So she really enjoyed it. <laughs> wow. And I can say I have something in common with her, but she has more, she's more ballsy than I am. Well, I think if you're if you've got, you know, a set of 80 people waiting for you to go on this zip line, maybe that kind of peer pressure puts things into you you forget yourself and do it. Yeah, probably. Um so tell me about how you got these actresses to jump on board. Um well, I wrote the role with Diane in mind um for it. That was always kind of the guiding light was I wanted I wanted to do a movie with Diane and the producers had done multiple movies with her before. So um, at, at the point that we had the script and Diane, um, you know, it, it really speaks to, I think, people's love of summer camp, because I think that that um, and that nostalgia, even if you didn't go to summer camp um, and like realistically, very few people have been probably to a summer camp like this. The whole time I was there, I was like, oh, my gosh, I wish I could rewrite my childhood and come here. Um, it's such a cool place, Camp Pinnacle. Um, but I, I think so that plus, you know, Diane and her legendary status, that's what really helped uh, us fill out the rest of those roles. The other actors were really interested in in those two elements. The concept of how we get caught up in life mm -hmm. and kind of neglect a little bit what really matters, including ourselves. Mm -hmm. um a little bit about what I liked about was Mary's character I think she, she she was one of those that was like yeah you get caught up just feeling doing what you feel like you're supposed to do mm -hmm. and forgetting the most important part can you talk about her character yeah I think she's such a 
complex character because there's so many lighthearted moments with her, but she also is sort of the easiest character, I think, to relate to because, um, like you said, we've all been there in various ways. And maybe it's not necessarily the kids specifically, but it's, you know, the pets or whatever it is. I think she symbolizes kind of sacrificing um, your ideals that you might have had in childhood about what life would look like and being more practical. And I think that that's something that um, I would say most women can relate to on various levels. Um, and I think that desire to see something through from her childhood is, is something that we can all relate to as well, whether it's a long lost love that never panned out or a career or whatever it is. Um, we all hold those things that we're like, man, I, I wish I, you know, gotten some closure there. Um, and I think the movie seeks to impart that it's never too late. Like if you, if you want to pursue something, um, in some way, there is always, you know, a, a way to kind of resurrect that dream, um, whatever that looks like. And with the character that Kathy Bates plays, the whole playing the role of, I got my shit together. I have it together and everything's fine, which that's a role I think most of us play in our daily life. Yeah. Yeah. I really like, I think all of them, you know, I, I wanted people to have to ask the question after the fact, like, are you a Mary, Jenny or Nora? But when you really boil it down, it's, it's, I think, I think most people will be able to see themselves in each of those characters to some degree so that it isn't fully possible to answer. I, at least I find it hard to, to say one way or another, you know, which one I most identify with because I really do see myself and, you know, I did write it. So I guess that could be why too, but I'm hoping that it's universal in that um, women are able to see themselves in each of those characters to at least some degree, or if not themselves, you know, someone that they know and or love. And then there's the workaholic mm -hmm. um, by Diane Keaton that she plays Nora. Um, I mean, I kind of wish I had a little more of that. <laughs> <laughs> but then you kind of miss out on life and ha enjoying it. Yeah, definitely. The message you hope people take away because it's, it's for all ages. Yeah, it is for all ages. And I really hope that people leave the theater and think, I should call that friend from high school. Um, I should reconnect with someone, you know. Um, I was listening to a podcast recently where someone said that they made a goal every single week they were going to call someone from their past that they hadn't spoken to in the last year or, what, or something like that. And I was like, wow, that is an amazing goal. Um, and it's also, even, even while I've listened to that, I have not done it. Um, but, and I've made this movie, but, um, <laughs> but I, yeah, I do hope that, that reconnection kind of fostering that, um, will be, will be what people take away. Let's just reach out and not think about it twice, right? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on this film that comes out, what, this Friday? Yeah, it comes out this Friday. That's exciting. Thank you so much. Thank you.